Hey everyone, it's Sprout here and welcome to Craft Legend. Now in this video I'm going to show you an easy way to get food. Now it's not a cheap way, it does still cost you silver to get the food in the first place. But I found a way that besides feeding your chickens over and over, I'm going to show you that one as well. And how to feed them for instance, when my game eventually loads, it's taking forever for some reason. But you can't capture turkeys roaming around you pick them up and you go put them in your turkey pen which is when it finally loads i don't know why it's taking so long i did just do an update though so that might be why it's taking a bit longer right so obviously you've got i'm, I'm hungry apparently but obviously if i can just jump up here you've got your starter zone here that you start in your starting house and stuff and then you get this little sort of turkey thing here you can put turkeys in, you can feed them, so yeah, they're giving us eggs, and meat, and what have you. And then you just feed them grain. So if I just get these little bits off them, if I can click it, I need wheat apparently. Uh, to basically get wheat, see how I've got wheat growing here, so you gather it, you can find it in the wild. That was rice, but that's the same thing, this is wheat, that's rice. Right, whatever. But you've got your bag, and you see, uh, where are they? Where are they? These. You've got the wheat seeds, so you put them down there, and plant them on soil, and that grows into wheat, which you can then feed to the chickens, like so. See? Feeding success. There's another one there, I'm going to see if I can capture that one as well. I don't know how many you can actually store in here. Let's see, that coming up. Right, I think three might be the limit, so I'll just put this one down and kill it. Right. Anyway, that's how one way you can get food. He gives you eggs and he gives you um, chicken that you can make into roast chicken if you go to your work table, craft. Then you go to food, staple food, like you can make roast turkey for instance, craft them, whatever, that'll take two minutes, so I'll just leave that doing that. Now the other way is, once you've got your own house set up, other than the first one, make another one like this one I've made here. Now that's a, that's a, separate, build, that's a separate video entirely. I'll show you in a different video how you can make a successful house where it's this anyway but you want to put this trophy in which is the, sh the chef Kieran trophy right and then the chef moves into your pro property and then when you click on the chef you can buy food off him now obviously them ones are locked until I upgrade it but he's got 95 breads in that gives you plus seven percent and honestly that is the quickest way I've found to get food and energy at this moment in time obviously you can still farm mushrooms and stuff like that the same way I've just um, farmed the grain, the wheat and stuff like that. You can do the same with mushrooms like I'm doing here. And then just plant the mushrooms again. Any sort of mushroom. Don't know if I've got any other ones. What's that? Yeah, the shine shrooms, the same. These ones you can eat. So just, just plant them, let them grow, pick them up, eat them. Simple as that. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. That's how I have found you get food. I'm not saying it's the best way because, like I say, it's, it's early days on the game at the moment. There might be easier ways than that, but I don't know of them. So make sure you give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. And do remember to subscribe. I still go live on Durango and I'm starting to do these videos because I'm really enjoying this game. So thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.